Today we will learn how you can turn this innocent looking device into your own mini hacking computer. If you like ethical hacking tutorials, smash the like button and turn on notification with the subscription to the channel so that you can become part of the hacker family. And the best part of all today is that we have no disclaimer because there is no ethical hacking tutorial in today's session. Because all we're doing today is just installing Kali Linux into Raspberry Pi. I'm not doing any Wi-Fi hacking, password cracking or any of that in today's tutorial. So right in front of us, I'm on Kali.org. So what you want to do now is go ahead and select your platform. So in this case, we'll be selecting ARM ARM. So let's go ahead and click on it. So once you click under ARM, you can see right here, we have the following. So we have two options for us. Number one is on 32-bit and number two is on 64-bit. So we'll be targeting the 64-bit because my Raspberry Pi has eight gigabyte memory and we want to take full advantage of it. So let's go ahead and click onto the download button here and go ahead and click OK, open with WinRAR. While you're working on the Kali Linux download for your Raspberry Pi, the next thing I want you to do is go over here into Raspberry Pi Imager. So this is the place for us to quickly install a specific operating system into the micro SD card so that we can boot Raspberry Pi into that specific operating system. So let's go ahead and click on the download for Windows. And once you have the pop up here, go ahead and click save file on it. So you can see right here, I have already saved a particular file over here. So I can go ahead and show you just that. So you can see here, I have image underscore 1.6.2.exe. So go ahead and save that into your local file system. So what you want to do next is go ahead and double click under Imager, all right, and go ahead and launch the Imager over here. As you can see, welcome to Raspberry Pi Imager setup. Click under install. All right, and you can go ahead and do and complete the installation for it. So here you can see the following run Raspberry Pi Imager. All right, so go ahead and click finish on this to begin running of the Raspberry Pi Imager. So you can see right here, we have several options for us. So before we go ahead and select the operating system as well as the storage, this is what you want to do by inserting the micro SD card into a card reader, plug it into a computer so that you can begin flashing the operating system into the micro SD card. So right here, this is the Raspberry Pi and you can see over here, there's a micro SD card. This is the place where you can take out the micro SD card. All right, as you can see over here, you're taking it out. And once you take it out, you want to then insert it into a cut reader and then plug it into your computer so that you can flash the operating system into the micro SD card so that the Raspberry Pi can boot up from it. So I have the micro SD card right here and the cut reader, and I'm gonna plug it right in so that we'll be able to flash the operating system into the micro SD card. Now moving back to the computer, you want to go ahead and select choose operating system and select use custom. Go over into your download directory and double click onto the exact file that you've downloaded. Next up, select storage and go ahead and select on this case, we have the mounted S, go ahead and select on that and then go ahead and three, two, one, click right and it will state the following, all existing data will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes on it. And then go ahead, grab yourself a cup of coffee, give it some time and we'll be able to complete this process and we can boot directly into Kali Linux in your Raspberry Pi. So you can see right here, we are writing 99% and we're almost done with that. And once we're done with it, we'll be able to insert the micro SD card back into Raspberry Pi and we'll be able to boot it up using Kali Linux as the operating system. Additionally, it does a verification process for us to ensure that everything has been copied in properly. So as you can see right here, Kali Linux has been written to generic storage device, USB device. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. And with that, we can go ahead and proceed by installing the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. So what we can do now is go ahead and take out the SD card. All right, so let's go ahead and take that out. So this has now been taken out. So what we want to do now is to go ahead and insert this into back into the Raspberry Pi. So right here, let's go ahead and do just that. So you can see right here, we're inserting in right back in okay so that's it done so what we need to do now is to go ahead and plug in all right the power source at the same time we also want to plug in a particular display port and likewise usb keyboard and usb mouse so that we can take control of this mini hacking computer 
So what we have done here is we have the HDMI as well as the two USB ports already plugged in for the keyboard and the mouse. All we got to do now is to plug in the power source and that will start up our Kyle Linux operating system. So let's go ahead and do just that. So you can see right here, okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the monitor part of things. As you can see right here, we have it running. Now you can see over here, we have the details, we have the operating system being started up, and we're able to see all the details right here. And we are booting in into Kyle Linux for the first time into our Raspberry Pi, and it may take a while for the boot up to complete. That's it, we're in. We're booted up using Raspberry Pi, as you can see here, connected over into our monitor, and we can see the login screen right here. So let's go ahead and enter Kali, Kali to log right in. Okay, we're launching into the desktop of Kali Linux. So this is really awesome, and this is how quickly we are able to set up an entire hacking operating system into a Raspberry Pi using Kali Linux, and then flashing the image onto it, and now we can just boot it directly using the micro SD card that we have. And of course, your favorite logo right here. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial, and will like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial.